Australia's hotly contested dual cab ute segment has a new contender, the Ineos Grenadier Quartermaster. The second model from the fledgling British brand, the Quartermaster offers the same go anywhere off-road character of the Grenadier wagon, but with added tray-back practicality. The Quartermaster is available to order now in Australia, though pricing has not yet been confirmed. You can expect, however, it to be similar to the wagon, which starts at around $100,000 plus on-road costs, meaning the Ineos plays in a different market to the likes of the Ford Ranger and Isuzu D-Max. Mechanically, the Quartermaster is very similar to the Grenadier wagon. There's a choice of BMW source six-cylinder turbo engines, a petrol and a diesel, both using a ZF eight-speed automatic gearbox. Claim combined fuel consumption is 12.6 litres per 100k for the petrol and 10.5 litres per 100k for the diesel. Peerless off-road prowess is the goal of all Grenadier models. So there's a dual range transfer case, the option of locking diffs at both ends, live axles front and rear, 264 millimetres of ground clearance, 800 millimetres of weighting depth and an incredible 36 degree approach angle. One area the Quartermaster does struggle off-road compared to the wagon is departure angle, thanks to the tray's large rear overhang. At 5.4 metres long and 1.95 metres wide with a 3.2 metre wheelbase, the Ineos is very similar in size to the Ford Ranger, though its tray dimensions are a little bit smaller, matching the Toyota Hilux. Maximum payload is around 900 kilograms for the petrol and 830 kilos for the heavier diesel, but both variants are rated to tow 3.5 tonnes. Our first drive of the Ineos Grenadier wagon revealed a characterful and extremely competent off-road vehicle, and the Quartermaster will be a unique offering in the Australian market. For more details, stay tuned for our first drive later in 2023.